I have a pure Android 4.1 car stereo and I'm going to show you how to customize your boot logo and your boot animation today. So first thing we're going to do is open up the settings menu. Now inside that menu there's going to be a tab called general. We're going to go ahead and open that up. Now at the bottom of that there's going to be another tab called extra settings. And this is where we change the boot logo. But it's password protected so here's a screenshot showing the passwords needed to access these folders. The password's very simple. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six. Then hit OK, and now we're inside that menu. So now at the bottom of this menu, there's lots of different settings here, but what we're looking for is the logo. So at the very bottom here, we can change the car logo. So there's a lot of different car manufacturers you can choose from. I have a Chevy Camaro, so I'll be choosing a Chevy logo, but here's a look at some of the other ones they have. And once you pick out the logo you're going to use, just simply select it. And then once you reboot your stereo, that logo will pop up. There's a look at what it does. So that's the boot logo. Now this is actually the boot animation, and I'm going to show you how to change that now. So I downloaded an app called Boot Animations Root. I can't use all the functionality of this app because my stereo is not rooted, but I can use it just to download the animations. So once you have that app downloaded, just open it up. And there's going to be a lot of different animations you can choose from. And it gives you a small preview on the left there. So once you find the one you want to use, go ahead and select it, download it, and then once it's downloaded all the way, go ahead and hit your home button. Now we need to use some sort of file manager app to move the animation location. So I use ES File Explorer. It's a free app and it's very simple to use. So after opening that up, we're going to search the root of the SD card and we're going to look for a folder called ROM Toolbox. And then we're going to open a secondary folder called Animations. Now we're going to look for that animation that we just downloaded, the name of it there, and copy it. Now we're going to go back to the root of the SD card. Once you're back in the root of the SD card, go ahead and paste it there. So I've pasted it here. Now I'm going to verify it's here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll back down, and as you can see here, now it's located in the root of the SD card. So we're going to go ahead and hit the home button, and now we're going to open up the stock app that's on this radio called Boot Animation. And now we're going to look for that boot animation that we just moved to the root called Cyborg. So you're going to select that and hit OK, and now when you reboot this, that animation should now be loaded. So I'll start off with your Chevy logo, and then change to the boot animation we just selected. So the stereo comes stock with a couple animations preloaded already, uh, but they're all pretty lame. The boot animation root app has a lot more options to choose from for animations. Here's another animation uh, from Droid featuring RTD2. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple more boot animation examples. There's a couple other boot animation apps on Google Play, uh, somewhere you can even make your own boot animations using your own pictures and uh, video footage. I haven't really messed with that much because the boot animation root app has quite a few to choose from already. Um, but if you do decide to make your own boot animation, uh, you just need to make sure that it's on the root of the SD card so your stock boot animation app can read it. Well, thanks for watching. This is CLS All-in-One. If you want to hear more from me, Please like and subscribe.